Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Natalie. For those who are new here, for those who are not, welcome back. Today I have a tutorial using the new Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. But before we get started, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe before you guys leave. As well as don't forget to follow me on all my social media. I will have everything on the screen as usual. And yeah, if you guys want to see how I got this look using the new palette, just keep on watching. Okay, so first going with a little bit of concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair. I'm just going to go ahead and carve out my brows and then just bring the rest all over my lid. And then I'm going to go ahead and set it with a translucent powder. And the one that I'm using is the Anastasia Translucent Powder. So now going into the palette, the first color I'm going to go into is a shade called Perfectionist. And I'm just going to use this as my transition shade. So now just start deepening up that crease. I'm going to go in with the shade called Homebody and I am bringing it pretty high up just to kind of blend those two colors together. Make sure that it's going to look nice and seamless. And then to continue to deepen up that crease, I'm going to go in with the shade called Crazy with a little bit of a smaller brush just to kind of focus it more onto the crease. And I am applying a lot more product on the outer edge as well as the inner corner. Okay, now going in with the P. Louise uh, base in the shade Rumor Zero. I'm going to go ahead and start to... What am I going to start to do? I'm going to go ahead and start to do my cut crease. And I did kind of go in it with it very lightly at first. And then used a makeup wipe to kind of wipe off all the excess. Just because I was getting a little bit of that pink tint from the eyeshadow. So just to make sure that it's going to look nice and bright white. I kind of wiped off a little bit and then went ahead and kind of put more product on top of it. And then here I'm just blending it out with a fluffy brush. Just to make sure that there's no harsh lines. Now to set that base, I'm going to go in with the shade called Certified. I'm going to apply it all over the lid and keeping that outer corner still kind of tacky with the product just because I want it to have that texture um, just so I have the other shades to kind of stick onto, which is the next shade called Crazy. I'm just going to go ahead and apply it on the outer corner just so I get that nice gradient effect and we get that nice smoky look as well. And now to kind of blend it in from the shade Certified and Crazy, I'm going to go in with the shade called Homebody. I'm just going to go ahead and blend it on the lid just again to get that nice gradient look and then I'm going in with the shade called temptress just to kind of smoke out the outer corner just a little bit more Now using my fingers I'm going to go ahead and apply the shade called Rider Diamonds right on that little inner inner corner the outer corner just to kind of add a little bit of sparkle to there and then I'm just using the brush with no product just to kind of blend everything out and then going in with some liquid liner this was the NYX matte one and I'm not going to do a wing liner I'm just going to do a very thin one and then kind of smoke out the edge in a little bit. Going in with a little bit of that Temptress color, I'm going to go ahead and smoke out that outer corner liner kind of situation there. And I'm kind of going back and forth between the shades Crazy and Temptress just to make sure that it's all looking very nice and blended. So for lashes, I'm going in with the Violet Vase Lashes. These are in the style I Scream, You Scream. I'm just going to go ahead and apply those on. So now to prime my face, I'm going with the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Primer, applying it all over, and then going in with my favorite foundation. This is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation in the shade 29 Bis Golden. I'm going to dot it everywhere and then blend it in with a beauty blender. So now for concealer, going in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade 
one. Yes, Chantilly is what it's called. I'm gonna apply it underneath the eyes, on my forehead, down my nose, wherever I wanna highlight just because my, uh, my concealer is a little bit lighter. And then I'm gonna blend it in using my Beauty Blender as well. To set everywhere we place that concealer, I'm going in with the Anastasia Translucent Powder. I'm going to go ahead and pat it in using the Beauty Blender. And I don't bake, I just kind of press it onto my skin. And then I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face using my Sephora Micro Smooth Press Powder in the shade 25. Going in with my Sephora, my Sephora, what the heck, my <laughs> Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm going to go ahead and bronze the outsides of my face just to bring a little bit more color to my skin, to my face. Yes. The blush that I am using is the one from Tarte and this is in the shade Peaceful. Okay, so now to finish off the eyes, I'm first going in with the shade called Perfectionist. And I'm going to go ahead and blend that out in the bottom lash line. But I am, bring, I am bringing it pretty far down just so you'll be able to kind of see the little bit of that color. And to make sure everything is going to be nice and blended. And then I'm going in with the shade called Homebody. And I'm packing this a little bit closer to the lash line just, to we, just so we can get that little bit of a gradient effect for our next color, which is going to be the shade Crazy. I'm applying this a little bit closer to the lash line, just again, to make sure everything is looking nice and blended and there's a little bit of a gradient effect. And I'm going in with a little bit of that temptress color, which is just the black shade in the palette, to go ahead and apply a little bit closer to the waterline, just so it's nice and smoky once I apply my, my liner, which is going to be the Urban Decay 24-7 um, eye pencil. And this is just in the shade black. So to brighten up the inner corner, I'm first going in with a base. This is going to be the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that in the inner corner. And then on top of that, I'm going to apply the shade called I'm In It. Just on top of it, just to make sure that it's going to pop and be nice and bright. For my highlighter, I'm using the Anastasia and Amrezy collaboration. I'm just applying this on my cheekbones, down my nose, on my cupid's bow, everywhere where I want to highlight. So for lips, I'm going in with the MAC Prep and Prime Lip first, just to kind of prime my lips and make sure that they're nice and set. And then I'm going in with my lip liner, which is the MAC Cork Lip Liner, of course, that's my favorite. And then for my lipstick, I will be going in with the liquid lipstick from ColourPop in the shade called Beeper. I'm just going to be setting my face using the Make It Last setting spray. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe before you guys leave. As well as don't forget to follow me on all my social media. I will have everything on the screen as usual. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.
con el alma bien dolida Me tomé una cervecita para no sentir dolor My camera's about to die and I need to